Okay, I am 5 DPO. It is Sunday, May 3rd, and there's no chance that I am pregnant whatsoever. And I think what I wanted to do was, I, I want to, um, it's like an experiment. I'm gonna check and see if I'm getting that uh, mid-cycle, mid-luteal phase estrogen rise. So, because the ovulation predictor kit, predi um, what am I trying to say? Detects both LH surge and estrogen. So now my LH surge is over. I had a positive smiley face. Uh, everything went the way it normally does. I um, ovulated on day 12. And so and just showed, actually in the clip before this one should be, that um, I actually didn't catch that on camera, but showed that it was negative so that my surge was totally over. And so now I wanna see, show at five DPO, if it starts to have a blinking, a flashing smiley face again, that's detecting my rise in estrogen level. Dang it, I just missed it. Um, I just put in the stick. This is from the one that doesn't flash, but they, they're both the same, of course. Um, but the one, of course, is the flasher. But I, I wanted to show that it was starting completely over and it had the test stick on the left icon and then it had the flashing, uh, the smiley face and then it had like the book on the right just to show that it's brand new and starting from the beginning. But I didn't get my phone on in time to show that. But anyway, I'm gonna dip it for 15 seconds and then it takes five minutes. It has like another minute and a half to go, but I, I didn't want it to do it and not have me catch it. So um, it does have another minute to go. So yeah, let's see if this detects a rise in my estrogen at 5 DPO, because this has happened three, well, I think three times in a row. Like I just accidentally discovered this like during one of my chemical pregnancies during like 5 DPO. I don't know why I just started testing at 5. I put in a test at 5 DPO because I just wanted to see if it was detecting any HCG because I thought I was feeling implantation at 5 DPO. And that's how I discovered this whole thing. And then I just looked it up and um, found an article that talked about secondary estrogen surge. Oh, here we go. It always does that blinking pause right before. Should be coming up. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So you know what that means. So to me, that tells me that when it's a flashing smiley face at 5 DPO that I am pregnant because I'm 5 DPO with very concentrated urine at the same time of day that I've taken those other tests when I was pregnant and it was a, fa a flashing smiley face. Let's take a look at the lines and see what they say. Okay, so it is 5.36, I guess. And I just took this one step with no chance of being pregnant whatsoever and uh, it just started, so you can still see all the pink. Oops. <laughs> and uh, I'm looking for an evaporation line. There's absolutely no chance of me being pregnant. And so I just wanna see if this is gonna give me an evaporation line. So I'm gonna come back at a quarter till, so that'll give it exactly 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna come back at 15 and 20 minutes and just see 
and that if there's no line, and if there's no line by like an hour and a half or whatever, then uh, I'll go ahead and believe that when I inseminate and the line shows up at 15 minutes that it just might mean that I'm pregnant. Okay, um, it is actually, so I started at 5, 35, 5, 10, 15. Yeah, so it's been 17 minutes, 5, 10, 15, yep. So it's been 17 minutes and let's take a look for an evaporation line. Oh, I think I see one. Yes. Can you see that? That is a nice evaporation line. That's a total. Oh my gosh, that's a total evaporation line. Okay. Check it out. I am pregnant with no sperm. Do you guys see that? Absolutely zero sperm in this house. I hope you can see that. Oh my gosh. I am five days past ovulation with no sperm and I'm pregnant. So there you go. So um, for uh, that girl who said she didn't believe in evaporation lines, again, I'm not gonna say who I'm talking about because that's not right shouldn't shouldn't I just came across a video and got upset about some things she had said um, she said she didn't believe in evaporation lines and so she'll wait 15 to 20 minutes to look at this HCG from Walmart test again and when she sees a line like this she gets excited because she and she just happened to be pregnant um, so that's good for her, you know, but I am very much not pregnant, but if I didn't know that, if I didn't know that these tests have evaporation lines, I would look at this and get all excited and think, oh my gosh, I am pregnant. And I'd be so happy. And so it truly is an evaporation line and can happen as early, so it doesn't even have to sit for an hour. It can just be 17 minutes. That's why That's why the instructions say, do not, can you see it there? See how, see it there? That's why the instructions say, do not read after 10 minutes, because I would think the manufacturer knows what they're, knows what they're talking about. Yes, so there it is. So that concludes my little experiment. Um, now the flasher did not have a smiley face, which was like, oh, okay. So maybe the flashing smiley face for me when I'm pregnant at 5DPO will flash because my estrogen's rising. But I think that secondary estrogen surge will do that no matter what. So I might uh, get a flasher tomorrow with estrogen rise, but I don't wanna waste all my sticks. Anyway, I'm just gonna stop here and just say this was a fun little experiment. Um, no flashing smiley face, 5DPO. Um, however, I am pregnant with no sperm. <laughs> with the one step <laughs> from Walmart. So after 17 minutes of, after um, 17 minutes later. So <clears throat> yeah, very interesting. Okay, I just wanted to show, it is, so 51 minutes, 51 minutes after this was taken, and I just wanted to show what a significant line this is now. So there you go. That is very easy to see. Look at that, that is so easy to see. If I did not know any better, I would be so excited that I was pregnant. Look at that. <laughs> Can you believe that? 
to me, that's a positive test, but I'm, I'm not pregnant because I did not inseminate <laughs> and my husband does not have any sperm. So that, you know, I'm not pregnant and yet look at that positive pregnancy test. So this was an experiment to say, and I love seeing that line. Like I just, I love seeing that. It makes me happy even though it's totally not true. So please be careful. Don't read it after 10 minutes. I never looked at it at 10 minutes because I know that I'm not pregnant. If I had inseminated, I would have been here at the 10 minute mark to make sure that nothing was going on, that it wasn't grainy and starting to show up. If it's starting to show up at 10 minutes, then yeah. And you, if you, um, inseminated or did the deed with your husband or whatever and have that then it very well might be true at 5 dpo but i mean implantation doesn't usually start until about 6 dpo um i did there was a girl that said she had implantation bleeding at 5 dpo when her blastocyst was starting to implant at 5 dpo because that's about when it gets into the uterus around day four or five. Yeah. I have seen doctors and embryologists make videos about day four and day five, it getting into the uterus and late blastocyst and then blastocyst and everything, or early blastocyst and then late blastocyst. So um, yeah, but otherwise, when you taking these Walmart HCG tests, beware not to get false hopes when these, and not every one of them does it because I've taken these before and they stayed completely white forever. So for this, this, this showed up really quick at 17 minutes and I didn't even look at it at 10 minutes because I was busy feeding Hannah her dinner. So that's, yeah, that's, that's pretty quick for an evaporation line to show up. I really thought it took at least a half an hour to an hour for it. I've even Googled that, how long for an evaporation test to show up. And I don't remember what it said. But anyway, 17 minutes is pretty quick. So be careful. Yeah. Read, read the instructions and do what they say. At the 10 minute mark, if it is still white and there's nothing there whatsoever, throw it out <laughs> and test again the next day and the next day and the next day and have multiple kinds of tests too not just the one but I do first response I have clear blue digital I have the pre or the first response yes no digital so I I use a variety of tests to confirm when I when I am pregnant and stuff anyway so that is that is it for me just a little fun experiment I'm excited my period should come May 11th, so not tomorrow, but the Monday after that, and I'm going to order my sperm, and hopefully this is the one. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.